I paid $250 for this lot of sports cards and sports memorabilia from highbid.com. Do you think it'd be worth it? Let's find out. And here are a couple pictures from the listing that helped me make my purchase. What is up everyone? I hope you all are doing well today. In today's unboxing, we will be going through this sports card collection that I purchased for $250 from highbid.com. It is an online auction website that I do a lot of my purchasing through. And I do believe this is my most anticipated unboxing here on the channel. It's definitely the most I've ever spent on a sports card collection, any of my videos. I'm too excited to wait any longer, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, let's go ahead and start with this side first. We got a nice Jim Kelly rookie card to start. Obviously this is his NFL rookie card. He played in the USFL for like three years, I think. Yeah, three years um, before joining the NFL. So that's a nice hit right there. Definitely resellable, but let's go ahead and set this one aside for the first overall giveaway in today's video. Once I come across a few more cards that I want to do for that first overall giveaway, I will announce it at that point. Got a Louis Apricio right behind it. Nice. Carlton Fisk. There we go. Billy McCovey. Nice. Reggie Jackson. Dustin Fowler. Auto. Aaron Nola. A $10 price tag on that. Home Invest Auto. I like that a lot. That is a really, really nice card. Coach's Corner. Tom Landry. And then we have a Josh Jacobs rookie card. Let's go ahead and do this as the first Easter egg in today's video. If you're new to the channel, how Easter eggs work, whenever I come across cards that I want to give away, I will announce that it's an Easter egg and the first person to comment that card in the comment section below will win that card. Just make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you like this video. Thanks. Reflections, uh, Dak and Roger Staubach. All right, let's go through this next. Um, box of cards in here. Got a Luke Clinton. We'll do that as next Easter egg. Jeff Edward, Bobby Klaus. Pedro Gonzalez, Frank Bowling. These cards aren't in great shape, but most of these are still in resellable shape. And with them being from 1964, even the ones that I've never heard of typically still sell for a dollar or two a piece. Um, they were in a little better condition. I think even the no names, I could get a little more for that. But in this condition, I think you're probably looking at about a dollar, maybe $2 per card. Let's go ahead and do this uh, Roland Sheldon as the next Easter egg. That one's actually in pretty good shape. All right, not bad, nothing too crazy in that. There are definitely some big hits from that 1964 collection in here. And I'm assuming it's gonna be in either this box or that stack of uh, top loaded cards, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, pretty nice George Williams, 1964. Rookie Stars, Pete Ward, All-Star Rookie, nice. Oh, got some real old cards. This is 1955, I believe. This one's in pretty good shape. Nice. I don't know exactly who that is, but this old of a card in that good of shape should be fairly resellable. Oh, nice, we got Brooks Robinson. Pete Rose, ooh, 1974. In pretty good shape overall. Definitely resellable. What are these? Huh. I did not see these in any of the pictures. Oh, that's the Wacky Packages cards or Wacky Pack. I don't know if these have any value at all, but they look to be like all refractors. Huh. I never really uh, got into these. I don't know. Maybe these are valuable. Maybe they're worth a quarter each. I, I really have no idea. Darren Waller on the pink mosaic. Let's go ahead and do that as next Easter egg. Carlton Fisk, Bowman, MLB draft history. Oh, that's a sweet card. Vinny Testaverde, Goodwin Champions. Number to 50, Lady Luck. Nice, that one should be decently valuable. What is this? Huh, I was not expecting all of these strange cards in here. Weirdos? I don't know what these are. But they look pretty old. Interesting. I have no idea what any of those are, but we'll have to look them up and I'll obviously clip it in whenever I get done filming. Oh, a couple of cards stuck together. Oh, and those are all numbered to $7.99. And then a Natrome means to $900. Let's do that as next Easter egg. All right, we'll go through a handful of these. Why not? We got John Capaletti. Junior Seihau, draft pick cards. I like that card. Joe Theismann. Oh, there we go. That's the biggest hit so far, I believe. It's an Earl Campbell rookie card. It's got an $18 price tag on it. It probably will go for somewhere in that range, somewhere from like $12 to $20, I would assume. 
Really, really nice card there. Oh, the French card, I guess. Huh. I don't know. It has French on it. But Alex Cross. A Jim Auto rookie? Is that his rookie year? But nice card, though. We got Archie Manning of the Manning family. Curious what y'all's thoughts are on Arch Manning. Do y'all think he's going to live up to the hype? I'm just curious what y'all think. It does look like an auto of Warren Morris. And look what's behind it. Earl Campbell, another rookie card. Absolutely beautiful. We got a Walter Payton right behind that. Let's go. Starting to pick up big time. Oh, what do we have behind this? Jim Skaggs. Oh, Jeff McNeil. Leather and Lumber auto to 50. That's pretty sweet. That is a really, really nice looking card. Very, very nice hit there. Bowman Best, Michael Irvin. The Gus Ferrat, uh, 4,999. We'll do that as the next Easter egg. Cole Hamels on the mini. Oh, that's sick. Felix Hernandez, commemorative MLB silhouette. Yeah, silhouetted batter logo patch, huh? Really, really cool card there. All right, we're picking it up. Usually I'm pretty good at recognizing autographs, but I am having a time trying to figure out who that is. Let me know in the comment section below. That would be awesome. All right, last stack of these that aren't in the top loaders. We're going to give away this Kendry Morales' next Easter egg. It's a BGO to 199. D. Gordon to 99. Talent Pipeline with Ryan Reynolds down there. Matt Holiday, Ichiro, Robert Smith. That's a sick card. Star View at Chipper. Nice. Oh, Prime Prospect. Gold Chipper. Nice. Let's go. That's a good hit there. I'm going to have so many cards to look up after this unboxing because I have no idea the value on so many of these sets and of these different years. So <laughs> this one is going to take me a little while to to edit that is for sure. We got the Gallery of Heroes, but requires that the original stained glass card. Uh, it's pretty sick. I don't know if it has that much value in it, but really, really cool card. Go ahead and do this Gary Sheffield rated rookies next Easter egg. Oh, specialist Drew Bledsoe, nice. Got a Ricky Henderson number to 900. Nice hit there. I'm assuming this Bo Jackson will be as well. Yeah, to 900. I don't know what that is. It's a wild looking creature. Ooh, there we go. Top of the class. Keenan Allen on the acetate. Aaron Rodgers, second year card. That's a cool pillars of the community. Bryce Harper. Ooh, Skybox boss. Corey Dillon, nice. Gold fingers. Michael Westbrook. Oh, there we go. Super Bowl XXXL. Those usually have a little bit of value to them. Why don't we go through these graded cards real fast, just to see what all is inside. So this first one is a 2005 Upper Deck Legends that is graded by SGC. It was cards like this that made me confident about this purchase overall. Um, and then as you can see, we got a Beckett uh, Mint 9 Jim Kelly rookie card. It looks really good in person. Two pretty good hits. And then we got a Keenan Reynolds. Um, I did think... This was a different player than Keenan Reynolds, but still really cool card. Number to 499, and they got a Jim Mint 9.5, so pretty cool card there. Here was one of my two favorites um, out of the graded cards that I could see. This Calvin Johnson turn back the clock Jim Mint 10 rookie card. Very very cool card there. That one probably is just going into my PC. I've always been a Megatron fan. He's the man. And then we got. Emmett Smith, his score uh, traded rookie card. Pretty, pretty cool card there. And then we got a Michael Irvin PSA 8 super rookie card. I like that one a lot. Really, really cool card there. You know what? Let's go ahead and announce this first overall giveaway and add this Derek Carr and Jimmy G rookie card to this first overall giveaway. What you need to do to enter for this giveaway, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and third, I want to hear who you think is the biggest rivalry in all of sports. No matter the sport, no matter college or pros, I'm just curious who you think it is.
Good luck on this giveaway and let's get back to the unboxing. You know what, let's go ahead and go through these. I'm curious to see who all is in here. I didn't see many of these in the pictures. I actually think I saw this Ichiro in the picture. I don't think these are crazy valuable by any means. Um, they're authentic game-worn jerseys. They're actually much cooler patches <laughs> than the ones that we see in typical modern sports cards. It's a nice Roger Clemens patch card there. I guess this company has a partnership with Upper Deck. That's where they obtained all the patches from. I don't know what that is. Huh. Nice Jim Palmer jersey card there. Ooh, I like that patch. That is a really cool patch there. Carlos Delgado. I just honestly don't love the oversized cards here. Um, and then a patch of Jim Palmer. We got a Pete Block, I think. And then a Bobby Bell. Nice. That one's actually in really good shape, too. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's see what are in these two. Oh, sweet. Curtis Granderson. Meaningful materials to, to 50. Really, really pretty card there. And then we've got Pedro Martinez, top to 99. A couple of really nice cards there. Ooh, what is that back there? That thing looks sick. Got a metal Cocoa Crisp card to 16. This thing is heavy, but really cool card there. We have a Raleigh Fingers to 1981. We'll go ahead and set this one aside for the next overall giveaway that we'll announce later on in the video. Kerry Collins die cut. Ooh, to 2,500, nice. And then a Tom Brady green prism. There we go, what year is that? 2017, beautiful. Ooh, a Matt Kemp emerald triple threads to 18, it looks like. Nice. Roman Harper, Colossal. Ooh, to 99, there we go. Ooh, Brian Jordan to 150, auto, that is a really pretty card. There, Carl Yastrzemski. 1500 RBI club. Nice to 199. Is that part of his batting glove? And then Corey Ray, No Way Home. Nice. These mint cards are pretty sweet. Anderson Espinosa, 67 mint. Number to 99, but really, really cool card there. I like those a lot. Ooh, Dom Baylor, game used that card. Here we go. Trevor Story, auto to 75, nice. Great looking card there. And then who, oh, Jake Bowers. Auto to 75, nice, leather and lumber. Really nice looking card there. What is this? Diamond Relics. Tropicana Field, game used ballpark dirt. $25 price tag seems a little steep on that, but who knows? Jim Gilliam, uh, patch to 99. Now a $3 price tag on that seems like not enough. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know, but really, really cool card. Then elite deck, Josh Jacobs. Those are usually worth a few dollars. There's Zeke, Josh Rosen, Cal Ripken, nice. The card should have a little bit of value. Bryce Harper, Roman's Brightest. There's a Stan Musial. Love the look of those cards. Unfortunately, I don't think those are that valuable. Miguel Tejada to 250. Ooh, Daniel Boone. Nolan Ryan. Commemorative Patch. I like that card a lot. That's sick. Ooh, Andres Galarraga to 99. Really cool. Oh, and then a Mike Trout. Alan and Ginter Patch. Nice. That is huge. We will take that. All right, just a couple more stacks left. Pretty cool Opeachy uh, materials card with Travis Hafner, Martinez, and uh, Jake Westbrook there. Oh, Ricky Henderson, game used bat to 399. Nice. Todd Hilton, bat handle. Carlos Silva to 996. Jeremy Bleich to 1,199. We'll go ahead and set this aside for that next overall giveaway. Oh, what is this? Tyler Glass now. Number to 99. Rookie auto on the clearly authentic. Very, very cool card. That should have some decent value there. Beautiful hit there. Dan Fouts, 
Joe Theismann, and then another Dan Fouts. Oh, we'll go ahead and add this to that next overall giveaway. All right, last deck of cards, and then we'll announce that last overall giveaway. We got a Nelly Fox in great shape. Beautiful card there. We have a Rocky card there. Ooh, nice. 1965 Lucky Stars card there of the Giants. In actually pretty good shape. 50th anniversary. Buy that card. Print bowling. Then we got an Al Ferreira, Jeff Torberg. Or Harry, that card's seen its better days. Carl Yastrzemski, Al Klein, and Rich Rollins. Nice Matty Alou. And let's go ahead and add this one to that next overall giveaway. Like I said, we'll announce it here in a sec. Oh, there we go. There is a Sox Soccers Yastrzemski there. Really, really cool card right there. Oh, and then here's a Mantle. I did not know that this was going to be in here. We got a Mantle, uh, Harmon Killebrew, and Brooks Robinson. Really cool RBI leaders for 1964 card there. And here is why I bought this box. Look at that card. I wish it was in a little better shape, but absolutely beautiful. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Topps and L, 1964 card. This is one of those cards that I think I'm just going to have to PC. That thing is sick. I've never owned it before, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I do wish it was in a touch better shape, but still, really, really nice hit there. And then we've got this Bob Rogers and Ed Zadowski. Uh, Angels backstops there to end it. Let's go ahead and announce that last overall giveaway in today's video. So we'll give away these four cards um, in this last overall giveaway, how to enter. I have a number written down between one and 10. The first four people to correctly guess that number in the comment section below will win one of these four cards. Good luck on this giveaway. And I really do appreciate you all staying here and watching the entire video. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you next time. Peace.